idea how important this Pokemon is. Yo, whoa, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka Drop. Pretty guys, another episode of our Pokemon Scarlet Bug Lock. Oh, baby. If you missed the last one, check it out in the description below and show some love there. We got our first badge. Of course, we took on the, uh, you know, the bug type gym leader. It was very fitting that we would get our first badge there. And we're going to adventure ourselves out. I might do the next gym today. I'm not sure. I kind of want to see what other bug types I can find and kind of go from there. So we're going to have some fun. I'm going to roam around the map and kind of figure out exactly what it is I want to do, right? Like, I really, I don't actually know. I don't, I don't want to do any of that stuff right now. Um, but I'm going to, I'm going to mess around and kind of figure it out. But if you guys didn't know, listen, here's the deal. I've got an incredible thing going on right now with Kickstarter. Alestrals, baby. My card project, my own monster franchise available right now to back on Kickstarter. I would sincerely appreciate if you guys would check it out. So definitely do so. Like, you do not want to miss it. You really don't want to miss it. So definitely, definitely check that out. Uh, it's 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 in the description below. Just head over and uh, check it out. And if you want to back, that'd be super cool. Um, I think I am going to head this way, right? Like, I think we are going to head to the South Providence. So let's start there. I already kind of explored there a little bit. But we're going to go there and explore again and see how the Bug Squad can do it. And our question today, today, as I kind of start off on this episode, is going to be, what is your favorite Shawnee Pokemon? Now... Here I am, a few episodes in. I have not found a shiny yet or anything like that. I, I did just find another raid crystal, so let's check this out. Um, but you guys let me know your favorite shiny in the comments section below. I think I gotta do this, right? It's Poison Type Cabrawler. I feel like I can do this one. I gotta say, man, I'm really digging these new raid battles. I do think they're pretty sweet. And uh, we got a couple teammates here. What do they got for me? We got Stunky, Magnemite, Staravia. Nothing too crazy, but I'll just uh, catch you guys at the end of this when we get our rewards. I tell you, these faster raid battles are so much better. So much better. He's he's like, he's at like one health. Oh, he actually was dead and got to attack. All right, I just want the rewards, baby. All right, so we get some XP candies. We get muscle feather, more XP candies. Just lots of XP candies. Hey, I just used a bunch of XP candies on Spindra, and Spindra is evolving, baby! Let's go! I pumped it up. I think it probably evolves at 15 or 16. Uh, it kind of hits 16 and then some. And there is its evolved form, which is Spidops. It's like a monkey spider thing that's like a spindle on him. And it clings on branches and ceilings, using its threads, moves without a sound. It takes out its prey before the prey even notices. He's a strange-looking individual, that's for sure. Spidops here and he wants to learn silk trap. That is his signature move It is a move that the user spins a silk trap protecting itself from damage while lowering the speed of any attacker that makes the direct contact Not the greatest move, but kind of cool, especially since he's not that fast I'm just pumped that our starter like evolved and he's doing things like that's a win to me. Oh my god I did not expect him to move like that. Oh Wow, that's cool this is a perfect case of like seeing a Pokemon in game is so much different than seeing a like a picture of them He's actually cooler now that I've seen him move around a dragon type hop -ip. I feel like I should do this And that was probably the easiest terror raid I've done so far Hey, it's a cloth a wild cloth. That's my first time seeing a wild cloth right there. Oh, it's a Terra Dunsparce Aww. <laughs> I'm just gonna let him chill there, but that's pretty cool. And here's a bug terror raid dead. Who is it? It's Starly turning into a bug type. I, I, I guess I could do it. I think I could do it. I think I could do it. Okay, I lied. Hop it. Uh, Starly was the easiest. <laughs> I created with air cutter and did half on the first turn. And uh, yeah, I'll just take my candies. Thank you. Ooh, the TM for Icy Wind. And I think we just made it to our Tazin, so we're gonna heal up. I'll check the Mart to see if there's anything new going on. And that's our squad, baby! They're doing good! We got Grass up next. Like, this is the gym that we should have the best advantage on. I just don't want to be caught off guard with levels again. And here we are in our Tazin. The home of the Grass-type gym leader. Grassius. And it's looking like we're gonna get our next badge. I, I probably am gonna explore a little bit. See what's going on around. See what I can find. You know that kind of stuff. Oh, I just found the quick claw. Oh my god, there's a lot of lights out there. Is that No, that's a city. I thought I thought I was I was getting excited that it was all raid raid battles, but that's definitely like a city over there. 
Oh, I'm getting called on my Rotom phone? Oh, we're near Team Star's base. Cassiopeia here. I see you're getting close to one of Team Star's bases. I take it this means you'd like to join my operation. That's right. But I'm not doing it right now. Thank you. With this, you're officially a member of Operation Starfall. Hold on a second. Who's this guy? Does this mean Operation Starfall of yours have room for one member? Who are you? The name's Clive. And how long have you been spying on us? No need to get your hackles raised. I'm a pal of our mutual friend here. Isn't that right, A-Drive? We're not pals. Ah, shy as ever, I see. We're talking about going up against Team Star here. It's not something you can join in for fun. I'm well aware. I need to sort out some unsettled business with Team Star, that's all. Besides, I tend to get the job done well. Not that you'll take my word for it, but it's true. All right, welcome to the operation, Clive. This guy's a little strange. Cassiopeia, who exactly are you? Team Star and I share some history. That's all I'll say for now. I see. In that case, I won't press any further. Good. Now back to business. Let's talk Operation Starfall. I want you to raid each one of Team Star's bases, defeat the bosses, and put an end to their rule. You mean to out oust these bosses from their roles? Team Star is made up of five squads, and each of those squads has its own base. You should be able to see the front gates of one of those bases now, in fact. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. It's fire. Uh, we, we, we're going to get wrecked if we try that. We're going to get wrecked. The key to the operation is the code that the team has to follow. If someone challenges one of the squad bosses, they have no choice but to accept. But what's more, if they happen to lose that battle, they forfeit their role as a boss to altogether. I, want, I went ahead and issued challenges to each base under your name, A-Drive. They're basically declarations of war. Now all the Team Star knows we're looking for a fight. So let's say we defeat all the bosses and they step down. What happens next? The rest of the team crumbles with no one left to lead them. That's what happens. Each base is a bunch of Pokemon inside to fend off intruders. And the base themselves are a considerable size. Your garden variety trainer would be overrun long before they get anywhere near the boss. That's why your skills are essential to this operation. Defeat the Pokemon inside the base and drag the boss out from where they're hiding. The first thing is you'll need to deal with any grunts that we guard in the, at the gate. Alright, what is Clive doing? I'll back you from afar. I don't trust you completely. Monitor the bases and act as a drop support. Alright. I'll be in touch when the plan advances to the next stage. Good hunting out here. Alright, well, again, I, I, uh... Director Clavel? You look familiar. I have no idea what you mean, but if anyone asks me about you, remember this. I'm Clive, a normal academy student just like you. I honestly, I'm gonna be real, I didn't even make the connection that that was Clavel. So that's kind of funny. I, again, I I know people probably want me to do it. I can't do it, guys. Um, we get shredded. So I have, to, I have to be a little bit careful about a couple decisions that we make. So I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna fall into the water, apparently. Oh, a Cyclozar? Bro, that's sick, a wild Cyclozar. I don't know if I want to fight it, but it's cool. It's level 20, I'm in trouble. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna throw down a Poke Doll and say you later. <laughs> oh, it's the Chonks of all form. That was a TM. Rain Dance, oh good, I was looking for that. Oh, look at these Tauros running by. That's kind of cool. <laughs> is that the new bug type? It's ghost. Whatever it is, it's ghost. I think that could be the new bug type. All right, I'm going to see. I think this is the new bug type Pokemon, but I'm not sure. I can't tell what the silhouette is. I know there's like a little little beetle that rolls like mud or whatever. Dung beetle kind of thing. It's probably not mud, right? Yes, that's him. That's him, dude. A ghost Terra type. Let's go. That's what we needed. We needed terra type pokemon that are not bugs so we can use them that way that's so clutch let's get it relor is his name relor all right we gotta get ourselves a relor i'm gonna hit him with the uh i guess i just hit him with the assurance that's so sick dude that's so sick all right let's beat him up all right we beat him i'm so excited to see him i haven't seen him in game yet catch um, I don't think these can fail. I'll use a Dusk Ball. I don't think you can fail these. Let's go, dude. That's so hype. Oh, this is our first Terra Catch, too. And it's a Relor. Yo. That's so hype. And it's a Ghost Relor. Which is actually hype because the Volt form is part psychic too. 
So like that's so clutch. Look at him. Oh my god, he's so awesome. Oh, I love him. This Pokemon creates a mud ball by mixing sand and dirt with psychic energy. It treasures its mud ball more than its own life. Oh my gosh. This is so hype. Alright, I'm gonna name it Saiskara, which is like a you know, uh like a scarab. Saiskara? I think that's kind of cool. It's like a psychic scarab. I don't know. Came came to mind. I like it. And here it is, guys. Look at this. And it has Ghost Terra type. Struggle Bug Rollout, Mud Shot, Defense Curl, Compound Eyes, Adamant Nature. Probably pretty bad with that. I'm very hyped about him, though. Our first ever Terra type that's not the same as kind of the rest of the team. Oh, is that the Dolphin Pokemon? It's adorable! It is officially the most cutest thing I've ever seen. Okay. Dude, look at all those Tauros there. Oh my god, there's even more. Okay, before they charge at me, I'm gonna run away. Found another tower to get some more, um, whatchamacallits. Gimme goulds. And we beat him really easily. So hopefully we'll snag a lot of coins for this. Got to level 17, got some level ups. Got a rare candy and 50 coins. And there's another little guy chilling here too. And Tailwind TM. Come on out, guys! Oh, look at all the guys! Look at all the friends! I love this little guy. Saiskara is adorable. Just rolling his little mud ball around. So there is a sparkling power more likely to find shiny Pokemon. That is hype. We gotta find out how to get those. Okay, I just threw a bunch of random stuff together. So let's see what it turns into. I don't know. Follow on those ingredients. We got some apple, a little bit of lettuce, a little bit of egg. All right. Uh, we got a little pickle on there. Oh, man. This is a very strange sandwich. Like, if we're talking about... Yeah, this is a very weird sandwich. Let's put everything on there. I right, put the bread on top. Finish it off with a pick. My sandwich glitched out. All done. Your egg, lettuce, apple, banana. Um. <laughs> Dude, what? <laughs> Just give me the shoddy power, please. A tasty A drop original. Three stars. Let me take that. I got catching power, flying, and counter power. I mean, hey, it's all good. I think we can pack up and go. <laughs> Venonat! My boy! What's good? Come here. I was waiting for you, homie. Light bright. We were waiting for you. Oh, he's level 20 though. Um, I honestly think we are okay though. Like, he's part poison, I guess. Um, maybe I go. I mean, I'm 17. I think we'll be okay. Let's let's go for struggle bug. I'll weaken him, and then we should be able to catch him. Yeah, Light Bright's good. Like, that's a good pickup for us. All right, we got it. Light Bright, baby. Another bug that we can add to the squad. I have to make a decision. Do I want to grab Light Bright out of the box at level 20? I probably do. I think we're going to box Beyonce here and grab Light Bright. I think that's a very safe bet. So let me tell you about Light Bright. Light Bright is just super stoked to be in Paldia in the first place. Because, to be honest, like, hasn't made it in a lot of games. So didn't even know if it was going to make it here. What is that Pokemon? Oh, Kamala made it. That's another one. Uh, super stoked to be here. Wishes it had psychic powers like Saiskara is going to have, though. Let me tell you. And last but certainly not least, his great friends with the team. Obviously, big, big team player. But the thing is, is very toxic to others. So a couple things to note there, but a great addition to the team. If we can get a Venomoth, that would be very clutch. Nice draining kiss. That could be good for Vivian. Oh, look at that. I'll take all that XP you're going to give me. Give me a lot, please. 833. Okay, every time we find a Spydobs, we're battling him. And it looks like we're picking up Psybeam as well. I kind of like our moveset, but I think we get, rid of, we get rid of Protect for it. Oh, look at this. There's another Spydobs. I definitely want to fight him. And if y'all know about my bug playthroughs, man, you know Sterling would sing is very important. <laughs> Wait a minute, I see on my map a Pokemon that is so incredibly important. Where is he? Where is he? 
It says he's on my map. Okay, so I'm really confused because it showed me Pikachu and then the little dude, Charcadet or whatever, and Pineco, and I really need the Pineco, but I don't see any Pineco. <gasps> there he is! Yes! 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 Oh! You have no idea how important this Pokemon is, but please don't blow up on me. I just realized he's gonna blow up on me. I, I like kind of forgot that he could just blow up. I'll just throw an Ultra Ball. Please don't self-destruct. I really need Pineco. Come on. Take down. Ouch. Um. Okay, what's my best bet here? Um, I think I go Sterling. I can maybe try to sing. At least I know he's here and he's in the trees, right? Like that's like the big thing. Fortress is so big, and there's a there's a particular reason why. It, it should be pretty obvious. It's it's one of the few Pokemon that I can have that's not weak to flying or um, you know, it's not weak to flying or uh, rock. So one for one on sings, by the way. Can we get a sing counter? Let's get a sing counter on this playthrough for Sterling, who never misses. All right, so he woke up. He Sterling never misses though. Two for two on sing counter, baby. Let's go. Let's go, Walnut baby, let's go! I'll take my Pine Cow baby all day, all day I'll take this. Walnut officially joins. A little bit about Walnut, loves to explode, doesn't care that we're Nuzlocking right now, he's just gonna boom even if he wants to. Doesn't care, to be honest. Uh, the defensive backbone of the team, I think that that's pretty obvious, how important this Pokemon is for us. And it leaves me with a tough decision because I have to box somebody now, and I have to absolutely have to have Walnut on the team. So, I think what that means is we probably are going to have to say goodbye. I think we're going to keep Lightbright. I think I'm actually going to box Sterling. Do I box Sterling? Sterling with Fury Cutter might just steamroll Brassius, though. I think I'm actually going to box Lightbright for now and grab Walnut. Look at the squad getting healed up. We got six bugs, baby. Going to give our boy uh, girl Spite Ops a uh, low kick here. Seems like a nice move. All right, enough of all that. I think it's time for us to start getting ready for this gym, man. I've legitimately been recording for over an hour in this episode, and I feel like I haven't done anything. But we did catch some new Pokemon, some new bug types, and uh, I'd say we're doing pretty good. So, let's do it, man. Um, big priority on the team now is I need to evolve Walnut. I don't think that happens until much later, though. Like, it's 31. Yeah, so we're a long ways away, anyway. But there is our friend, Nimona. It's so wild, we ended up randomly visiting the same gym at the same time again. What a weird coincidence. Uh, sounds like you're just kind of stalking me. Might as well battle that we're here. All right. But look at you. They've definitely gotten stronger since last time. Add these to the mix. You'll be 100% set to go. Thanks to the ethers. I'll be cheering for you. Oh, she doesn't want to battle. Okay. All right. Well, I'll talk to you then. Welcome to the Artisan Gym. Let me register you as a challenger. Your name is A-Drive, yes? Great. Now, in order to face the gym leader, Brassius, you need to pass the first gym test. Here at the Artesan Gym, that means completing a game of Sunflora Hide and Seek. As you know, Artesan is a city of artists. The artwork made by the people here is largely inspired by nature and the sun that nurtures it. Since Sunflora embodies these concepts, we try to gather them and take good care of them. Your job today is to find Sunflora located throughout Artesan. Remember, these Pokemon look like sun-shaped flowers. Gather ten of them and bring them to the lawn and you pass. When you leave the gym, turn right and you'll see two large Sunflora statues. Head for that. Once you're at the lawn's entrance, the staffer will tell you more about the gym test. All right, time to look after the sun flora. They spread themselves out around town. Sounds like sun flora ready for you. I love how it's just like raining though. It's like not a good day for sun flora. Oh, I found one. <laughs> that was easy. Oh, I found another. Did they really just put three right here? Oh, this is a pretty sweet little playground. And there's number four. Oh wow, this one randomly wants to battle. Level 14 Sunflower. We should be alright to just bug bite it. Oh, we actually lived. I'll take this XP though. I kind of wish they all wanted to battle. I would have loved to get, you know, a solid chunk of XP. And I found 10. Nice. Okay, I've officially gathered all of the Sunflora that you have requested of me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well done. Finding all this Sunflora. You passed the gym test of the flying colors. It seems you've successfully gathered 10 Sunflora and brought them over from the lawn. That means you've cleared the gym test. Congrats. You've now earned the right to challenge the gym leader. Best of luck. Are you ready to challenge Brassius, the Verdian Virtuoso? I mean, let's get it. Let's get it. So my plan here is very simple. 
Fury Cutter. That, that is my plan. We know from trailers that Brassius has a pseudo Wudo that turns into a grass type. If I could just get Fury Cutter steamrolling enough, I might be able to deal with it without getting bopped by a massive rock move. Um, the advantage that I have is pseudo Wudo slow, and I should be able to deal a lot of damage to it with any of my Pokemon. The disadvantage I have is pseudo Wudo probably one shots my Pokemon. We'll see how it goes. Greetings, Challenger! Oh, he's all the way on the... What are you doing up there, Brassius? My dude's just gonna jump. He doesn't take fall damage either. You did well to come this far. I'm Brassius, an artist specializing in grass-type Pokemon. I'm also the gym leader here in the Artisan Gym. I was observing your gym test from atop the windmill, you know? The perception you displayed in Finding Sunflower was truly... How shall I describe it? It was truly avant-garde. I only pray that you might demonstrate that eye for beauty in our battle as well. Enough talk. We must begin crafting our collaborative work of art. All right, let's get it. Second gym. Last time we did lose two lives. So just a reminder, you know, Beyonce lost life, not on the team right now. Uh, and, and of course, Rosalie only has two lives. Petalil. All right, so here's the deal. Like I said, the strategy is very sound here. I think it could work. Artist Creation Destruction. Struggle. Else you'll defeat my nourished Pokemon. Level Oh, I am way over leveled. How did that happen? I thought I was so under leveled for a long time, and now I'm I'm above. I'm very confused about that. <laughs> That's the downside, man, to no level scale, right? Like, I go into the first gym, it was level 14, I was under leveled. I go into the second gym, it's level 16, I'm over leveled now. I started using the Let's Go feature in this game to send out my Pokemon to get some levels because I was expecting level 20. I'm going to just one-shot Petalil. Are we really about to just walk over Brassius like this? Is that it? He's going to send out a small if. I think I legitimately just... I think I'm going to one-shot his whole team. What level is your small if? 16. What? How does that happen? How does that happen? I mean, I don't. I think even if they were level 20, we would be having the same result right now. But I guess I'm just surprised. I really thought he was gonna be like level 20. And here's Pseudo Wudo. So this is the scariest thing, right? Now Pseudo Wudo could have Sturdy. We know he's gonna Terrasilize into Grass type, which for me is good. So I think as long as I don't miss, we're probably okay. Yeah, he's level 17. All right. That's fine. Truly Wudo. So Pseudo Wudo becoming a grass type. He's gonna terrestrialize it. But I I mean we definitely two shot it. I don't know if we one shot it. He's gonna get some flowers on his head. Pseudo Wudo actually becoming the tree he wanted to be. When he was a baby, when he was a little bonsai, his mommy told him, you can be whatever you want to be. He said, okay, I'm gonna wear a, a, a flower hat. Yeah, he is sturdy. He is sturdy. Should I be scared? I think because of my level, I'm okay. Trailblaze. So he actually goes for the grass move anyway. And that does very little. He gets a speed boost. I don't know if I'm faster. I, I'm just gonna click pounce. I'm faster. That was the easiest gym ever, baby. I will gladly take that one. I will gladly take that win. I was very nervous. I thought I was underprepared, underleveled, but now I think I'm going to go do the Stony Clip Titan next after this episode. I think the next episode we're going to do Cloth. And then I'll do Mela. I guess I'm going to just do it. I mean, the bugs are doing it. Sterling wants to learn Focus Energy. Do I want Focus Energy? I don't think I do. I mean, I guess we don't need Absorb, right? I guess I'm going to try Cloth. I might get shredded by Cloth, though. I'm not going to lie. But we beat Brassius, so I'll take it. Sterling doing what Sterling does. That's it. Avant-garde! Got three grand for beating him. I like that his hair is like thorns, too. It's kind of cool. What artistic tactics you employ? The patterns of your moves, the minute details of your Pokemon, minute details of your Pokemon's performance. Everything you did was honed to perfection. Our battle was, in a word, art. Indeed, if we could not call it a work of artistry, then nothing else in this world could be labeled as such. If I were to judge your work, I would say it passes my inspection. Yes, a pass without exception. As proof of your artistic prowess, you may have my gym badge. And shall we take a photo as well? Arta artisan. I I've been calling it Artisan, but I think it might be Artisan. Artisan gym defeated. The badges do look really clean in this game. I like his pose, too. He's, like, leaning back. Now you can catch Pokemon to level 30. 
And I would like to ask you this TM Trailblaze. The user attacks suddenly, leaping out from tall grass. It's nimble footwork, boosted speed stat. I'll begin on a new piece at once. You must excuse me. Farewell. Pardon me, would you be the A drive I've been hearing so much about? Who's this guy? Nimona had mentioned there was a promising new face in the academy. Yes, indeed. But I do apologize. I didn't mean to startle you by addressing you so suddenly. My name is Hassel. I'm one of the Elite Four of the Pokemon League. I also teach art classes at the academy. So do tell me, young Adrav, what compels you to collect these gym badges and strive to be champion? I want to find my treasure. Asked and answered, thank you. Naturally, there is no single correct answer. All paths lead to the great creator of Paldia, as they say. You know, your friend Nimona is the youngest to achieve champion rank in all of Paldian history. It is entirely possible that such great potential lies within you as well. Alright, see you later, Hassel. Should you continue striving to reach champion rank, you will one day have to battle me. You would be wise to train hard starting now. It will save you from experiencing the bitter regret of defeat. Oh, and do come along to my art class sometime. I would be thrilled to have you attend. All right, I think this is a great spot for us to wrap up today. Let me know what your favorite shiny Pokemon is in the comment section below. Don't forget to check out the Kickstarter in the description below as well. It's support Elestrals, available for a limited time, Founders Edition. Don't miss it. I'll see you guys in the next episode of the Pokemon Scarlet Bug Lock. Shouts to all the A-Drive Army members on adrivelive.com. See you then. Peace.